Hello and welcome to Think Watercolour. Uh, today's demonstration is how I painted this picture of a sailing yacht heading out to sea. I uh, just want to say something uh, about uh, composition before I get started. Uh, my aim with this painting was to convey the impression of the uh, viewer standing at the end of a harbour as if the yacht glides by heading out at the start of its journey. I wanted to suggest movement and to that end I placed the boat quite low in the composition as if it's just starting its, its voyage. I also wanted the composition to have a strong diagonal from the bottom right to the top left in order to draw the viewer's eye across the image. That's why I placed the blue sky gap in the clouds where it is and at an angle. Finally I needed to create some harmony and balance so that the viewer, as well as seeing the diagonal, and have their attention drawn to the movement around the boat. Uh, that's why the seagulls are placed where they are. Uh, they draw the eye in a curve from the figures in the yacht around the painting, uh, loosely following uh, a golden spiral. And the bird on the left, of course, helps strengthen that diagonal too. So when you're composing a painting like this, just think about placement, harmony and movement, and you won't go far wrong. So let's begin. For the sky, uh, I'm just using uh, cerulean blue and a touch of cobalt for the uh, blue sky peeking through the clouds. Just gently softening parts of it with some clear, clean water. Uh, don't want too many hard edges. I've just added some uh, purple to the mix. Uh, just for the shadows on the fluffy clouds. Uh, I'm trying to depict a bright, white, cloudy sky with a bit of uh, blue sky peeking through so the shadows won't be too strong and um, keep it simple. I didn't use masking fluid on this because the, pet, the sails are uh, of a size where you can easily paint around them. Just varying the tonal value in the shadows and the clouds, so it's not just one flat colour. And as I get down towards the horizon, keeping it pretty light to create that uh, feeling of distance, a bit of aerial perspective. As I said in the introduction, the angle of that uh, gap in the clouds is part of the composition, so uh, you'll see at the end of the painting how it works. Uh, for the sea, I've just added a touch of uh, Prussian blue to the mix. Uh, Prussian blue has got a slight green uh, tint to it. Uh, just dabbing out there at the bottom, just went over too far. Um, just keeping it simple. Uh, I'll try and keep it lighter towards the horizon um, with less detail. The further away the sea is, the less detail you'll see. Uh, it's a fairly calm sea, so uh, I'm not going to have lots of breakers and waves in the sea. painting carefully around the sails. As I said before, I didn't need to put um, masking fluid on this painting. Just using a little bit of dry brush technique at the bottom just to leave some uh, white gaps in the uh, in the waves where the boat's cutting through the sea. Here I'm just adding some um, some darker darker hints of uh, waves. Again, trying to keep the horizon lighter, just lifting out a little bit there.
Just getting back to talking about composition. Uh, I, I'm not advocating that every painting you do, you have to really think about composition. Uh, painting in watercolour should be fun. And if you just want to mess around with paints and try ideas out, that's absolutely fine. I do it all the time. But when I'm doing a painting like this, I do give a little bit of thought to the layout so that uh, I, try and I can try and convey the idea that I had in the first place. Uh, the boat is from a reference photograph. Uh, it's just the boat on its own in the middle of the sea and it's a pretty boring picture, but uh, I like the way the boat was cutting through the wave. So uh, I just uh, use that as a starting point for this, uh, this painting. Just darkening bit by bit the, um, the waves in the foreground. You see more detail close to, but as you get further away, there's less detail on the sea and it's a bright day, so um, a calm sea. Uh, I'm going to soften these these dark areas. Um, I don't want any hard edges, so just uh, just getting the darks in first. Then I'll use uh, some clean water on a damp brush to uh, to soften them. Just trying to make sure I keep some uh, some of the white around where the boat's cutting through the sea. As I say, this is a just a damp brush, clean water, just softening the edges of those waves, blending them in. Trying to leave a few lighter areas where the waves are, are breaking. A little bit of reflection on the white hull of the boat of the sea below. To the same mix, I've just added uh, a touch of burnt sienna, which um, creates a nice light grey for the shadow on the sail. Uh, the light is coming from the right, so the uh, the side of the sail on the left are in, in a little bit of shadow, but not too much. It's just enough to define the uh, the shape of the sail. This is a number zero rigger just to do uh, the uh, the masts. Just using some raw sienna for the detailing on the uh, on the boat. Just picking out parts of the edge of the sail just to uh, create that shape. I don't want to draw a complete outline of each sail because it would let them look like an illustration and uh, just, just want to hint at uh, where the mast is and the shapes of the sails.
Just putting the figures in on the boat, just um, keeping the head small. There's a tendency for beginners to uh, draw big heads. And I've added some um, life jackets just as a, to create a point of interest, bright, uh, bright orange uh, life jackets so that they, uh, they make a focal point on the boat. Just using some um, neat white gouache just to hint, just literally dragging it across, pick up a little bit of the texture of the paper, just hint at uh, waves breaking a little bit and where the yacht's cutting through the sea, some of the white foam. Using the same uh, white gouache just to uh, tidy up the uh, the sails. A bit clumsy with my uh, painting of the shadow a couple of places. I've let the painting dry now and uh, just I've been looking at it and I think I need to change the sea a little bit. It's a bit too blue. So what I've done is I've added a little bit of jadeite green to it in a very thin wash. Uh, because the painting's dry, and if I'm careful, just literally touching in uh, some areas, just to take the blueness away, make it a little bit greener. Um, I think it will look a bit more realistic that way. You have to make sure the painting is fully dry before you attempt anything like this, otherwise you will disturb the washes underneath. And be very gentle when applying a, a, a second wash. And finally, I've decided to uh, just finish it off with, uh, as I said in the introduction, uh, just put some, some birds in, but carefully placed. I've drawn them in pencil first, just to get the position right. And this is literally a neutral tint. I think it just finishes the painting off. It gives that uh, that spiral of movement, as I said earlier. So um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this. If you like the painting, do give it a like. Um, and please press the um, notification bell and subscribe. And thanks again for watching.